Okay, so give us the give us your cake recipe example. Yeah, so I mean, I, it's already been a while since I read that example. But I, well, I I'll, think I'll it's a nice it, one it, in, yeah, in sense of of just being able to separate these out. And the reason I'm doing this is because yeah. what you have presented in your book around making the case for us to listen, learn, look, recognize the importance of output is that it just strikes me that it's it's not present enough in our conversations prospective retrospective review and so just a, a, a nice metaphor uh, could could really help yeah sure so i would say that between process out, output and outcome um if we were to bake a cake a chocolate cake and i talk about this in the book and i, I probably won't get all the pieces of it because it's gonna it's a fairly long example in the book but the concept about baking a cake is we'd all agree that there's probably 100 different recipes for chocolate cake um, the process is the steps of measuring the flour, mixing, how you mix the aspects of the cake together, whether you set the oven at the right temperature. And for those that are bakers that are listening to this or chefs, please ignore my, <laughs> I apologize yeah. for my yeah, references if they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a baker. There's flour all over the floor. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the oven needs to go on. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. But the process is the steps that you're taking to do that, okay? Um, and it might be the recipe. Part of it might be the recipe. You know, in sport, we use different tactics. So you might use a different recipe or a different approach to mixing the ingredients. Um, so the process is those steps. The output would be, you could use the same recipe. You and I could use the same recipe. And we follow the same process. And our cakes might turn out very different, right? So we followed the process differently, but my output of using that process and your output of using that process might have produced a different cake, right? So ultimately, in that in that essence, is it may be because I practice it more, or I've learned that I have a different taste or a different feel for when ingredients are mixed properly, or whatever the reason is. It might be that I've left something in the oven. Uh... <laughs> yeah, or or, I, or you forgot to take it out, right? <laughs> Yeah, and so our outputs would be different, right? And if you and I were entering a contest to say, well, who's going to base, bake the best chocolate cake? Now, I might say we could both go into it and just go at it, and one of us might win. But the outcome would be who won. So what, what you might be really proud to say that you built a cake or you made a cake having never even touched a kitchen before, never been into a kitchen, and you made a cake that came out and it looked like chocolate cake, it tastes like chocolate cake, but it wasn't quite as good as mine, where I was actually been practicing and practicing, practicing, and I produced an output that was, you know, a cake that looked like chocolate cake, it tastes like chocolate cake, but I like, some people like mine much better, right? Now, I prepared really, really hard, practiced to try to deliver an output. I delivered the exact output I wanted. Right. And so it was a very good cake. Now, let's say a third person enters our conversation and it's a world class chef, like it's late entry into the cake contest. And we didn't know that. And they put it out and they deliver a cake that is above and beyond. Like it just is over the top. Now, I, I worked hard at my cake. I delivered probably the best cake I've ever made. It looked good, it tasted great but it was not at the level of this other chef who's done years and years of training. And so that cake wins. Now, my output was my cake, which was an extra, which was an incredible chocolate cake. However, I may have lost the contest because this other person who came in who had a completely different experience building cakes, who delivered on some of the attributes that a judge might have actually appreciated much more than what I didn't really pay attention to what the judges really wanted. So maybe I didn't know the output that was required to deliver the winning cake. So those are things that were, even though I executed, I had a great performance, I still didn't get the outcome I wanted. Yeah. Love it. Love it. 